as you'll no doubt be aware, at 3.55 yesterday afternoon, our greatest treasure, the Princess Consuela, was taken from us in what can only be described as a terrible tragedy. She was taken before her time, and the nation is in mourning. Tonight, we celebrate her life. Princess Consuela loved charity, and fast cars, and, sadly, also late-night parties in hotels. The press loved to capture her stories, whether positive or negative. One person who knew her well was Prince Raphael of Jenda. She wanted to keep it secret for the press, but we've been engaged for several years now. What about the string of boyfriends she's had in the past few years? That, that was just a smokescreen to hide our relationship. And the fact that you've spent less than two months in the past year in the same country? It's quality time spent together that's important, not quantity. And the restraining order? Look, if you are implying something, damn well come out and say it. Call Consuela loved me. I have the diary entries to prove it. Forged diary entries? You, you have insulted my honor. Turn that damn thing off! The princess loved animals. As pets, as wallpaper, as food, and as worthy opponents. But, in light of her recent tragic death, we must ask ourselves the question, is it time we stopped our best and brightest fighting in cages against animals for charity? Well, the Queen didn't entirely approve, but Consuela loved cage fighting. She simply wouldn't have given it up for the world. She was trained in a number of martial arts, and she liked to combine these with street fighting. But um, she had fought just about every animal there was, I think. Kangaroos, donkeys, a walrus, even a crocodile one time. Uh, she loved it. So when somebody suggested that she fight a howler monkey, she thought it a simply fabulous idea. Of course, we didn't know then that the howler monkey was trained in the ancient and deadly arts of ninjutsu. But was it really ninjutsu that was responsible for the princess's undoing? Or was it something more sinister? I simply don't understand. I had trained her to block that scissor kick. The monkey must have been using illegal steroids. It seems that in that final fateful fight, the princess was defeated and sadly decapitated by a flying scissor kick. Now, strangely, the princess had easily blocked such a move in at least 13 of her previous fights. Now, based on my research, I believe that the monkey, in conjunction with the Mafia, arranged for a CIA plant to place a microcapsule or pressure-engendering actuator beneath the princess's mattress here, thus attacking a nerve in her lower back here, rendering her vulnerable to monkey hypnosis during the fight. After the break, we'll examine Princess Consuela's involvement in the space program, as well as her groundbreaking research in the field of human cloning. But first, I... I'm sorry. My producer has just told me that's all the time we have, as we have to cross to a live feed of Crown Prince Rudolph, who is apparently fighting our rhinoceros as we speak. Ladies, gentlemen, I ask you, when will the madness end? <laughs>